Good morning, everyone. Hi. It's Friday. It's our last um, day soon in this hotel. We've woken up late because we did the after hours event last night. Very, um, very late. So, what is it, like half past 11 now, something like that? We woke up at 10, didn't we? We didn't get back till 2, so it's like half past 2 we went to sleep. So, it's not that late. We were out of it. Yeah, we're tired anyway. And we were going to go to Volcano Bay this morning, well, today. We were going to such a rigmarole to like get in, you go to Universal, you park, you get on the bus, you go through security, you have to walk, you know, it's uh, too tired. So we're going to go to Buzzard Beach instead because it's so much easier. You park in right at the front, you just walk straight in. It's just really easy. So we're going to do that instead. Um, I don't know how much we'll record because I'm probably just going to do the same and just call it the Lazy River over and over and over again because that's what I like to do but I'm probably going to go to Disney Springs afterwards because we actually haven't been yet have we other than like to jump onto a bus we've not been to a shop we've not, not been to, been to a store we need to get ice cream yeah. there's lots we need to do oh ice cream that's a good call for lunch We are here and it took a whole five minutes. We could go do the mini golf as well, it's right next to it. Yeah. Into Summerland. We always say about doing it and we never get around to it. Yeah. There are a few more rows of cars than there were at Typhoon Lagoon. But um, hopefully it won't be too busy. I think people are probably just waking up from a, a late start. These people. Yeah. Probably doing the same as us out there. Wow, it is warm. Humid. It's just so overcast. It doesn't it didn't feel like it was going to be warm, but yeah, it is. Perfect water day park. Water park day. Water park day. There's no, there's no, there's no. I thought they were that way. Okay. We've only been here once, it was when we first came. Here is the park. So there is the Lazy River we're going to go around. And we may also go on this family raft ride. All day. All day? All day. All day, All day. Lazy River.
ring now. Double ring. Double ring. I don't know why we didn't think about actually getting in the double ring rather than just sitting in it. We're too big to sit in it, aren't we? But this is nice. This is really nice. And we don't keep losing each other either because we're attached. <laughs> and now we're going to go on Melka Schmall. He doesn't say anything about shoes, I know. Glasses and loose jewellery should be removed. Okay, but you can put them in your pocket, can't you? So we found a sunbed in this little bit, just behind where the pool is. And we're just hooked in this little corner. Where, oh, you'll see a David while well, he's hiding behind the corner. But under these cute little things, they were out of the way of the sun. So that is a tip because a lot of the ones like directly near the pool are taken. So uh, now I'm going to go in the pool. So we're heading out now. We're all showered and dried. David had a little sleep. I feel so much better. It was nice. I had a nice shower and washed my hair, curled my beard. So, it's time for lunch. So we're thinking boathouse. Yeah, obviously we haven't got a reservation, so we're just gonna kind of roll up, but when we went before, it was empty at this time. So we're just hoping for the best. I mean, it is still technically the weekdays, isn't it? And if not, there's... There's better places to be, there's not many better places to be than Disney Springs for uh, somewhere to eat. Yeah, we'll find somewhere, we'll see what, what happens. Which do you prefer now that we've been to birth this trip? What? Typhoon Lagoon. Typhoon Lagoon? It's because it's the pool. That's just like constant ebbing waves and there's um, rings in the pool, which I like being rings in the pool. I don't like the constant ebbing waves, you can't have like a good swim and it's not deep enough. Whereas you can have a proper swim at the other one and it's not waves constantly, it's like every half an hour it'll do it half yeah. an hour, so... Thank you. Um, so I like that. I like the other better because it's deeper so I wasn't scraping my... Yeah, I kept scraping my feet on the floor of this one. It was longer, yeah. but shallower. Um, but I did like that raft ride, but then we didn't try any of the raft rides at the time of the because we just popped in, didn't we? So maybe yeah. we'll pop back. Yeah, I'd agree. Typhoon Lagoon's still better. Yeah, and I'm glad we didn't go to Volcano Bay because by the time we'd have got in, we'd have been in there about half an hour. But it was never going to be a full day, was it? And like you said, for the effort it takes to get in, it has to be a full day to make it worth its while. Yeah. We are here! In the Disney Springs. Oh, I'm a bit red. I need a bit of moisturiser on. Um, yeah, we're in the lime garage. They've built a whole other car park since we were here last. Great I think fruit. they were building it last time. Oh, but they've changed not all the instructions for. Um, you know, get into the car parks and they're making it quite difficult when you come from the way that we're coming to get to the lime garage which is our favourite because it's in the middle but we got here and now we're heading down and I'm very shiny shiny So I got the Gibson's award winning burger. I've got no idea what's on it, but it looks beautiful. And David got the coconut shrimp. What is it with the chili dip? Uh, an orange chili dip. It, apparently this is a bucket. Oh, well, it looks nice anyway. It does. So we've got the bill. 
what do you think? Eighty-five. Oh, I was gonna say one hundred and five. Seventy-seven twenty-two. Oh. Not too shabby. Oh, it won't focus on you then. It doesn't like you anymore. It should know my face. The boat house store looks so posh. Beautiful tiles. There's even a shelf to put your stuff on and use the toilet. And then there are orchids. What did you think about the bird house? Wonderful! It, it was, was incredible. Hey. It's still my favourite. Oh, this was such a good mood, like... Oh, I'm so happy now. I'm so full. And it is so yummy. Had a lovely craft beer, the, the shrimp were huge, and butterflied and beautifully cut, and the chips were nice, and the sauce was good. It's just always a really good quality meal. Yeah, every element of it is like, oh, so yummy. Anyway, we're just going to walk around now, and you know, we have been here in a while. So. This wasn't even here, you know, last time we actually walked through this bit. We didn't really explore Disney Springs in our last trip, did we? I think we just went to the places we knew. We went to World of Disney, we went to stores that you like went to the marketplace so that was about it yeah we didn't really look around but yeah. there's always something new isn't there jack's favorite restaurant well it would be if he had ever been here well, i imagine it would be Well, the world's largest Disney store and it didn't have anything in it. It's a bit disappointing, like the sizes they've got available of stuff in great, they tend to have one size of each thing. There's some other people that I saw that were like in really mad because they were looking for the perfect version. Spirit Jazz and they only had larges and they had like it all over the store but they just had larges. Which is annoying really because you know then nobody gets what they want. And I couldn't find my t-shirt sizes either. Well, we'll look somewhere else. We're looking. Is it Mouse Gear? Mouse Gear, yeah. Epcot. And the Animal Kingdom stores really good, so we're from there. We'll see, we'll see what we can get. This is where the serious money will be spent on the moo. Oh, two steps in and we found what we wanted. I don't know if that might be too small for any of the Okay, shopping's done. Time for ice cream. Do you know what you're gonna get? I'm gonna get the thing that I normally get. Good choice, me too. See what I want. How about what you get? Mint bliss, painted lady. Midnight Riviera. I think. Oh wait, what's that? What cherry vanilla cinder? Oh. Okay. So what did you get? I went for the uh, mint painted lady. Oh. Mint dream. And I got the painted lady. It's the midnight Rivia. The Rivia. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. And you get your little Gingolis chocolate square on top. Good? Uh, yeah. It's obviously well with Disney because some like girls were singing well Disney stuff. So we went and sat there. We only caught the last song. But they were singing happily ever after and I nearly teared up and I got some goosebumps and they were really good. No idea yes. where they were from. Who I guess. It's a Disney performing arts next to the stage, so I don't know if there's like an academy or a group or something. They look very young. But now we've got the fullest tummies and we're a little bit tired and a little bit sick of the heat so we're going to go back to the hotel and have a little rest. Oh yeah we need to pack because we need to move tomorrow but... 
Focusing in the dark very well, um, and we've decided to just come out and go have a look in some cheapy gift shops. I need some pens. I don't know what else we're gonna get. We're just gonna have a look and see what crap there is. Um, so, which one are we going to, babe? Oh, Buffalo Wild Wings. That's kind of like Hooters, but with all the boobs. Oh. Uh, we're gonna. We need some pens. Yeah. Which gift um, shop are we going to? Oh, the Wizard. We're going to the on Wizard on one ninety two. There's a wizard, there's a mermaid, there's an orange, but it's the orange right at the other end. Oh, uh, yeah. I think the orange is quite far away. Um, we'll do the wizard and the, um, the one at the other side. The mermaid? And the mermaid, we'll do the mermaid. I want to do the mermaid. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that. They might not let us record in there, though. They were funny with us one time, weren't they? Yeah. So, um... We'll and they follow you around because they think everyone's a shoplifter. Yeah, so we'll show you what, we'll try and show you what cheap crap there is. Okay, so, no success recording in any of the gift shops. The one that we went to, which one did we go to? Was it a wizard? We went to the wizard one. We went to the wizard hotel. one. That was down our side, the 192. We did not know there was another wizard down the, well, it's still on the west 192, but it was much further down. Um, because we basically decided that we would go to the one that was near our the hotel that we stayed at last year down like this road but it was like 10 miles down the road so um it was a little bit of a trek bit of a road trip but um i got some fake perfume from there that i really like and i don't have a, a reaction to it like i do to actual perfume um presumably because it's cheap and water paste and it bits and it's more like um an eau de toilette than and had a path on. So, um, yeah, I wanted to get some of those because I actually smashed one the day before we left um, that was still half full. And, like, aspirin loads on because I can't really smell anything and it's just, you know, it's not worth spending proper money on those kind of things for me. And I wanted loads of pens. Um, yeah, and we went to this wizard and it was like... <laughs> Three ninety nine for a, a, a single pen, went to the and they're wizard. like fake cheap. Yeah, we went to the wizard. <laughs> Every time I talk about the wizard, I've got like wicked going around in my head. Oh, it won't focus in the dark. It doesn't like all this changing light as we're driving past things. Um, so yeah, we we went to the wizard, unsuccessful really, and a lot of the things were expensive. We did discover this last year, um, because we've always gone to them. The, the cheapy gift shops and you know found things cheap but like last year when we were looking for like teddies and stuff for like my nephews it was like 15.99 for like a small plush um of like a mickey or a donald and they're like 17.99 in like world of disney and i'd rather for two dollars i'd rather have a real one like it's not a lot of money is it um so it wasn't really that cheap in the t-shirts and stuff the vest year we came it was like eight dollars for a t-shirt and they had like you know like the thing one and thing two is from universal but then when we went to universal they were like 26 dollars and it was like yeah that's cheap but now it's like they don't have the even like fakes of the proper ones they just have ones that say like sexy one and drunk one and things like that and they're like 20 dollars and they're like 24 at universal and it's like why why would you do that we've closed the gap so you have you have to be careful going to the cheaper gift shops like some of them are you can find some things that are really cheap and i think if you're looking for things like autograph books um, and the big fat pens that the characters can use and you're looking for mugs magnets key rings if you want pins but you don't mind if they're fake um there were some cheaper ones some things are absolutely fine and if you want like we got that luggage bag a couple of years ago didn't we we got like a big hurl doll because we didn't bring any extra luggage with us um, and we just paid for an extra bag on the way back and we got that and it was like $15 and it's like a massive hold all so some things are really good from them but you do have to be careful so anyway we drove all the way to this other one that we went to last year and we're out of focus again and we're back um, yeah we went to this other one and the pens that up up here down our end which is right near Disney um, were $3.99 we're $1.99 in there so there is there's that good I could buy twice as much. 
So on the we've just got back to our sort of end. Um, we've been back to 7-Eleven because I've now got a problem with Slurpees. In that I'm a bit <laughs> obsessed with them. Didn't even drink much of that one last night, did I? You didn't really like the flavour. I know, but I just like I like the texture because it's like a slushy, but it's like an aerated slushy, so it's like firmy. I just really like it. Like when you pull it out, it like it comes out in the strangest motion. It's like a like it's like pop. It like pops. <laughs> and I was to explain it. If you've never done it before, uh, when you come here, go to a Seven Eleven and get one. Even if you just get a small one, so you can see what it's like when it comes out. Because the small one's only a dollar. So this was two fourteen with tax. And look how big it is. It's giant. It's as big as my head. Ooh! <laughs> I got cherry this time, so that's an experience. Oh, I like cherry much better than the Sour Patch Orange. Mmm, it's nice. Um, so it's like half past ten now, and we just decided that we'd have a little snack before we went back and finished our packing and went to bed. So we're gonna get to Taco Bell because it's something that we've never tried. Did you try it when you came with Ryan? Uh, I had a little bit of his, I didn't get my own. Uh, so we're gonna try Taco Bell. Um, the only thing I know about Taco Bell is from watching um, the, the Try Guys video where Keith eats everything at Taco Bell. So I know that there's like a, like a star filled quesadilla that, and I think I want something like that. And that's all I know. So, oh yeah, and obviously it's supposed to make you poop. So, um, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, you know, we won't have too bad of an effect. Well, it's a weird time. We had we had lunch at three o'clock, and it was a big lunch. Yeah. So, so if we'd have gone to bed at like nine, we would have been fine. But because we've come out, we're like hungry. Just a little something, something. Yeah. So. Um, we'll show you what we get. Hopefully we are successful. Every other time we make plans to do anything we're unsuccessful so hopefully we will actually manage to get Taco Bell. It will be open, they will have what we want, there won't be like a 40 minute wait like there was at McDonald's the other day. Oh uh, that was awful. Yeah, here's hoping. Okay it took about an hour to find this place which is ridiculous but we got a bag of Taco Bell and we are going to enjoy it now. Holly isn't very uh, excited. Hiya. I'm really excited. Oh, I got some napkins. That'll be a quesadilla. Quesadilla. Oh no. There's some quesadillas. And nachos. Wow, that's triple loaded. That's the smallest bit of cheese I've ever seen. Uh, five dollars. Let's have one of these first. Well, first of all, it's very flat. Oh, it's very hot though. Do you want to try this chicken thing? Weird. Not very crispy. No. Okay, not a fan of the quesadillas. Here are the triple loaded nachos with a little bit of mince and cheese on. I mean, you normally expect nachos to have a bit of a crunch, but these are lovely and soggy. That one's a bit crunchy. Taco! I'm going for a crunchy, fully loaded taco with the tiniest little bit of meat in there. Uh, with some salad and cheese and a bit of, I think that's guacamole, is it? Or peppers? I don't know. It's crunchy. Mm. Not bad. Mm. 
Yeah, the Fed is the case it is. I mean, it was a dollar, so again, what can you expect? I put the TV on, and there's eSports. Has anyone ever heard of this before? But it's just guys playing FIFA. That's insane. So, Taco Bell, eh, maybe it's different if you get a meal, but I wouldn't really recommend it. It's all just fake food and cheese sauce. So. Anyway, it is about midnight now. And someone is just tidying the room. Tidying the room? I'm packing. Someone is packing the room. I was having my tea. I was having my tea. Tea? Then I will uh, go help Holly tidy now. So we will say good night for tonight or good morning. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow or next week. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video or the channel. Do the business as we call it. And we will see you again next week. Bye.